been on the internet for longer than just the last two days, you might have noticed so-called lead hackers posting long strings of zeros and ones to communicate with each other. I'm convinced that most of them are using the first text-to-binary encoder they could find on the internet and thus a leeching of perceived recognition based upon the work of others. But did you know that reading these is actually not even that hard? Stay with me and we're going to work through it in a few minutes. Computing zeros and ones to represent information. A long time ago, a consortium named ASCII has come up with a way to encode the most common characters with 7 bits for each character. They created a dictionary, the so-called ASCII table. If you want to encode a character, you look up the binary code and write it down, and vice versa for decoding. For example, uppercase A is encoded as 01000001. Whenever a computer sees this binary code, it shows it as A to you. Smart, right? Now at this point, we could of course play computer, learn this mapping table by heart and translate binary code back and forth on the fly through the sheer power of our brain processing unit. However, I'm sure that most of you, me included, have better uses for the time spent on achieving this useless feat. Therefore, I want to propose a few shortcuts that make translation easier. First, we convert the 8-bit number to hexadecimal representation. Let's take 01101001 as an example. First, split it up into two groups of four digits, 0110 and 1001. Now, sum up the digits. The digits signify, from left to right, 8, 4, 2, 1. In the first group, we have the 4 and the 2 binary digit set. In the right group, it is 8 and 1. If you sum them up, you get 6 and 9. Our hex representation, therefore, is 0x69. Now you might wonder, what if my sum is greater than 9? That is easily possible. In that case, you continue with letters. 10 becomes A, 11 becomes B, all the way up to 15, which becomes F. And don't worry, 15 is the maximum this sum can reach. Please give a thumbs up if you like this video. And if you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell. This helps the video and my channel to get promoted more by the YouTube algorithm so that I can make more content. Thank you for your support. So now that we have 0x69, what now? Well, do you remember the ASCII table? Let me show you a secret. All digits are placed between 0x30 and 0x39. Therefore, if, for example, you see 0x37, that would be the representation of the digit 7. All uppercase characters start at 0x41. You count up letter by letter. 0x42 is B, 0x43 is C, and so on. 0x4E is N, 0x4F is O, and 0x50 is P, 0x51 is Q, and so on, up to 0x5A, which is Z or Z, depending on how you prefer to call it. Lowercase is exactly the same but starting at 0x61 for A and up to 0x7A for Z or Z. So what is 0x69 then? It is the ninth letter of the lowercase alphabet. The ninth letter is I, so 0x69 corresponds to lowercase i. Just count nine letters starting at A. Now, what punctuation? This one's a bit harder to remember. Most importantly, 0x20 is space, 0x21 is the exclamation mark, 0x2e is the period or full stop, and 0x3f is the question mark. Now let's sum up what we know so far. 0x30 to 39 are digits, 0x41 to 5a are the uppercase letters, 0x61 to 7a are the lowercase letters, 0x20 is space, 0x21 is exclamation mark, 0x2e is period or full stop, and 0x3f is question mark. Equipped with this knowledge, we should be able to decode such a text now. Let's try. The text on screen. Grab a pen and paper and try to decode it with me and pause during the video so you can try yourself. First, split up the string into chunks of 8 bits. Then, split the chunks into two parts each and convert the number to hexadecimal.
Now convert the characters using the shortcuts that I just provided before. This is all there is to it really. No magic, no hacker knowledge, just some basic mathematics. And fun fact, yes, you can also go backwards as well in the exact same way. You take a letter, you find the hex number, you expand it to bits and you are done. As a bonus, because we are actually real hackers, unlike these script kitties that just use the online converters, we want to throw off wannabe hackers with their online tools, so that if they find a string that we have posted, they absolutely cannot decode it. And I propose two changes for this. First of all, do you notice how the leftmost bit of each group of 8 digits is always 0? That is because, as I already mentioned, ASCII only uses 7 bits. That means the 8th bit, the leftmost bit, is always unused in 0. You could conveniently leave that out when encoding and add it back when decoding. Now the tools that convert the binary strings that are available online will fail decoding. Crazy stuff, right? We could prefix that by adding 7 underscore to the beginning of the string so everyone who knows about this knows how to decode it. We could even be so mean and always invert the second second to last bit which we will denote with tilde 2. For example, we could encode the 0x69 from before by using the 7 tilde 3 encoding by just removing the first bit and flipping the third to last bit. And now we have a 7 tilde 3 encoding. Point, you should be an expert in encoding and decoding binary bit strings with the sheer power of your mind and possibly a piece of jotting paper. Therefore, I want to give you one final challenge. I want you to decode the string on screen and post the solution in the comments. Keep in mind that tools you can find easily on Google will not help you with this as we are using wannabe hacker proof encoding here. If you feel like you missed something, you can always go back in the video and revisit the former sections. You can also find a cheat sheet linked in the description for quick reference. If you figure out the correct solution and post it to the comments, I will hand you one virtual cookie. And once you are done virtually eating it, I want you to do encoding in the 8 tilde 1 format. If you solve it and post the right solution into the comments, you will receive another virtual cookie. Only smart lead hackers are worthy to receive both cookies. Are you? As my first video in this style, I would appreciate feedback on how you liked it as well as suggestions for other content I could do in this manner. Thanks a lot for watching, like and share, subscribe and see you next time. Fly on!